Hello and welcome. Today we'll be exploring how to create custom profiles in Solverfast for converting your photographic negatives into stunning digital positives. This advanced technique allows you to fine tune the conversion process for specific film types and shooting conditions or create a custom negafix profile from an unknown emulsion from scratch. First, open Silverfast and select a negative that needs conversion. And if you haven't already, switch the scan mode from positive to negative, which opens the negafix widget in the tool dock. Click the zoom icon in the vertical toolbar to have the selected negative fill our preview area. Before we dive in, it's important to understand the complexities of this process. Unlike positives, negatives have an orange mask and inverted tones, making simple direct conversion tricky. Each film type has its own unique color characteristics and compressed dynamic range. But keep in mind that factors like film age, storage conditions and exposure can introduce variables that pre-made profiles might not fully account for. This is why creating a custom profile can be so valuable for achieving the most accurate and pleasing results. Normally, we choose a pre-existing profile that gives you a decent starting point and improve on this. But for the sake of this tutorial, we will leave the vendor type and ISO ASA speed options on default. Now let's enter expert mode by clicking on the expert button in the Negafix dialog and click the pencil icon. This opens up the curve editor, which is where the magic happens. When you open the curve editor, you'll see four curves in total, one each for red, green, and blue. These allow you to adjust each color channel independently, and you can select them by clicking on the color tiles on top of the curved editor. By the way, you can zoom in and out of the curve editor whenever you see the little plus icon next to the cursor. Clicking into the curve editor will zoom in. Holding down the Alt key will zoom back out. The fourth curve, typically shown in black or gray, is equally important. This curve lets you adjust all three color curves simultaneously. It's particularly useful because it allows you to modify the overall contrast and brightness of the image without affecting color balance. Changes to this curve can help compensate for exposure issues in the original negative. It's often the best starting point for adjustments as it maintains color relationship while allowing you to fine tune the overall tonal range. Using this curve can help prevent color shifts that might occur if you only adjust individual color channels. Starting with the combined curve and then fine tuning with individual color curves often leads to the best results. Before we fine tune individual color curves to enhance the look of Kodak Portra, it's crucial to start with a neutral base. This ensures that any stylistic adjustments we make later are built on an accurate foundation. In our beach scene, look for areas that should be neutral gray. With the curve editor active, click on the tarmac. A color field will appear below the curve editor. Drag the point in this field downwards to neutralize the color. The real magic happens when you fine tune individual colors. This is where you can really enhance the look and feel of a specific film type. This beach scene with kite surfers was shot on Kodak Portra. Portra is known for its pleasing natural color rendition and distinctive pastel like tones, which we can enhance in this image. To bring out Portra's characteristic warmth, gently boost the red channel in the midtones. This will enhance the golden tones in the sand and grass without oversaturating them. Create a subtle S-curve 
while keeping shadows and highlights anchored. Portra also has a slightly cool overall color balance. To maintain this characteristic, you might leave the green curve almost untouched or make only minor adjustments. However, if you want to add a bit more vibrancy to foliage or the grass, you could add a slight lift to the shadow and midtones of the green curve. To really bring out the signature portrait look, you might want to add a subtle blue tint to the shadows. This can be achieved by lifting the shadow point of the blue curve slightly. Be careful not to overdo it. The goal is a subtle, cool undertone, not an obvious blue cast. Remember, these adjustments are subtle. The beauty of Portra lies in its natural, slightly muted tones. Your goal should be to enhance these characteristics, not dramatically alter them. By making these kinds of thoughtful adjustments to individual color curves, you can fine-tune your conversion to really capture and enhance the unique characteristics of different film stocks. After making several adjustments, use the Curve Smoothing Tool next to the pencil icon. This ensures even color gradients. Once you're happy with all three curves, click Save Curves to store your new custom profile. And there you have it. You've created a custom negative conversion profile for Kodak Portra in Silverfast. Remember to test your profile with various images shot on the same film type. With practice, you'll be able to achieve incredibly accurate color renditions from your negative film scans. Thanks for watching and happy scanning.